I dodged death many a time. And that night in Abilene was no different. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. I thought the Texas Rangers got heart. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. You're dead! It was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. the very same saloon where we'll look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me, and... Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. He was a bona fide folk hero by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit, it's cold out here. I'm freezing my giblets off. Ain't right, we gotta stay out here, keep a watch like this. They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Hardin wasn't in that place. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Hardin's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the boat's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their F.A. of my unwelcome presence. was among them. And I steeled myself for the fight ahead. For as good as I was, deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. Before I could test my mettle against Harden, however, I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers.
Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. I didn't learn until later that that night was in fact his birthday celebration. that I found Hardin in this very saloon. I felt a certain hostility. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. I felt a bolt of adrenaline, or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks, and I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. No, wait! He didn't hit me then! I'm sure of it!
That man was faster than Grease Lightning. But being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon just like this one. Anybody up for another beer? Ben?